Now for a question like this on vertical motion under gravity, I would definitely encourage you to draw a sketch. And I've started the sketch here. We've got that this is a ball that is thrown vertically upwards with a speed u meters per second from a point p at a height h meters above the ground. So first of all, let's just put in that speed. It's going upwards at u meters per second. So the ball's going to go upwards, like so, up into the air, and then instantaneously stop, and then start to come back down again. Now, we're told that the ball hits the ground when t equals 0.75 seconds. So what I'd put here is that t equals 0.75 seconds. And we're also told that the speed of the ball immediately before it hits the ground is 6.45 meters per second. So when the ball gets down here, let's just mark in the ball like so. So just before it hits the ground, it's moving downwards then with a speed of 6.45 meters per second. Now because it's moving freely under gravity, we have the acceleration due to gravity acts downwards. So the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second per second. So I'd mark that in like that. Now for the first part, we've got to show that u equals 0.9. So this is a typical SUVAT type question. So I would write out my variables, S for displacement, U for initial velocity, V for final velocity, A for acceleration, and T for time. And it's important in when we use these equations to put down a positive sense. And usually with questions like this, we go to the starting velocity and select that direction as the positive sense. So we can see it's projecting upwards. There's nothing to stop you though selecting downwards as positive, but I would really suggest you do upwards. Try it downwards and uh, check that you get the same answer. So let's see if we can fill in some of these values. We're looking at all the motion, okay, down to here. So S is the displacement. And as the particle goes from here, up to here it has a positive displacement. When it's back here, it's zero. But when it's down here, its displacement is minus h. So s would be minus h. u, the initial velocity, is u. So we can just put that as u meters per second. v, the final velocity, down here. Well, this is going in the opposite sense to the positive direction. So we must write in this as minus 6.45, 6.45 meters per second. The acceleration, even though it goes up here and down here, the acceleration throughout that motion is downwards in the opposite sense to the plus direction. So that's going to be minus 9.8 meters per second per second. And t, well, t is a scalar quantity, no directions involved, so t just is 0 0.75, 0 0.5 seconds. So, if we're to find out what u is, we don't want to include s into this equation, so what we're going to use is v equals u plus at. So, we'll just say using v equals u plus at. All we need to do then is put our values in. V then is minus 6.45, so we've therefore got minus 6.45 equals U, which is U, plus A, which is minus 9.8, multiplied by T, which is 0 0.75. Now, if we work this out, we've got minus 6.45 equals u, and this quantity is a negative quantity, it turns out to be minus 7.35. So all we need to do to get u is to add 7.35 to both sides. So u equals 7.35 minus the 6.45. And you can see that therefore u turns out to be the 0.9 that we were asked to show. All right.